Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Lego The Incredibles. And today, we're gonna go ahead and check out the next area, the second to last area in the overworld free play. It is the financial district. And it looks like there's quite a lot to get there. Didn't mean to close out of it just yet. As you can see with me, a bird, the financial district, we have 16 more golden bricks, one red brick, two uh, Incredibles, four races, and then plenty of Incredibricks to find along the way. So lots of awesome stuff going on there. All I need to do is change some characters maybe because we played a lot of these guys last episode. Who's a flying character I have not played? I think I have played just about all of them. Looks like it. I mean, haven't really played Thunderhead. <laughs> I like that guy. He just thought of the name. Ah, uh, it's me, Thunderhead. I've always been here. <laughs> He's also a liar. Okay, so let's check out this next area and see how things work out. Oh, let me go ahead and change this. I won't turn this on until the end of the episode. The uh, pickup detector. And we'll get started with finding all the Incredibricks, gold bricks that might be floating about. Most of them are pretty easy, like this one hiding in a bush. So we should be able to get pretty nice. Nine, it says 95 out of 100. Maybe I don't... There's definitely a whole lot more than five in this area. So what I think is going on there is you don't have to find all 100 of them to get that reward. We'll be finding every single one of them we can find in the game. But it's cool to know that there's actually an, like a, an excess of them. Uh, let's go this way. And it looks like there's a golden brick on the tippity top of this building. So let's find out if that's actually true. Excited to see the different races in this in this area. If there's four of them, that's the most we've ever had in one little area. So that's pretty cool. And um, there should be another one on top of this skyscraper. This one's pretty large. This might be one of the larger buildings in the game. I feel like that over there might be the largest building in the entire game. Hard to tell though. Oh, okay. There was like sunshine going down the water here. I thought there was like an alien abducting somebody way over there. I was like, what's going on to the clouds over there? Okay, so this guy needs help doing something. Looks like he needs to break into here. Well, we can do that. Let me actually switch over to this guy. These two look incredibly similar. Um, yeah, this dude's downburst. But we're just gonna go ahead and change it to Mr. Incredible so that he can bust this thing open. Boom. Very, very nice. And inside, we got a golden brick. And I also broke your thing, sorry. Uh, that just, you know, the price you pay. It's the price you pay. So let's go ahead and do this. Slide on down this way for fun, because it just might be a little bit faster. And check out what's gonna be on this building. First off, it looks like way down there, there might be some stuff. Doesn't seem like there's anything up on top of these buildings. Well, maybe here, okay. Let's go ahead and get this one. I wanna be able to sort of make my way down a little bit before I have to fly all the way back up. 97 out of 100, we're really getting there though, it's getting exciting. So yeah, there's another one on this building. And then some gold bricks, a red brick, all the way down this way. Oh my gosh. So I'm plugging in my PS4 controller to charge it, but like every couple of seconds, I accidentally knock the cord out because I, this cord needs to be thrown out because it just, I guess the connection isn't very strong with it anymore, so it just falls out constantly. It's driving me nuts. So what is this about? It's like a little, is it a horn? Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Guess there was a gold brick clogged in there. Don't really get it, but sure. There you go, gold brick. And then down this way, there should be another one. Can you go underwater? No, you can't. Okay, you can't go underwater either, so I need you to change. Dory is like the closest one that can go underwater in that selection. Just go down this way and boom! There we go, we got it! Incredible builder! So that's going to be another gold brick, 174 now. And does that unlock a character? Yeah, it does! That's, a, that's been sort of our longest term uh, thing. Who is this? Stratogale, Stratagale? Maybe she flies super high in the stratosphere? Maybe that's the idea? Let's go ahead and switch to her. She might be fun. Um, Yeah, like, switch on over. And also, never checked out Banana Man. Uh, Strato Stratogale, she has some moves, for sure. She has Bulldoze, so like, she's super strong. Oh, I like that, that's cool. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and select her, because she should be able to fly. Let me just go ahead and, yep, she can fly. Very cool. And then while we're doing that also, let me take a look at Banana Man. We might not play as Banana Man. He can just probably throw bananas. <laughs> All right, well, there's that done. And let's continue searching through the buildings. I'm so glad we got that done, though. That's really cool. And the golden brick over this way. 
is gonna be down here? In the dumpster? No. Oh, oh, behind this car. Gotcha. Okay, so she's like Southern. <laughs> I like it. And then there's another one over this way. So I guess all these other ones are sort of kind of bonus. I mean, I need them for the incredible builds. You need the uh, incredible bricks for the incredible builds, but I, I think I have enough to probably get done all the rest of the remaining incredible builds in the game. And I'm just getting the other one, so, you know, for the 100% completion. Because next episode will sort of be the overworld completion episode, which is super exciting. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is this one exactly? Apparently he's down this way, so let me just go ahead and plop down like this. Whoa, whoa, plop, oh, right on top of it. Didn't even realize, that's super cool. Okay, so we still have plenty more to go. I just have to head down this way. Starting with this one, just right there, and another one in the bush. That's a really original spot for it. We got this, this is the super tall building, right? Looks like it. And it says, you know, keep going up, just paying attention to the mini map, really. Yeah, they're all gonna be at the tippity top, aren't they? I have to imagine. I don't know if this is the fastest way. There we go. Let's try doing that. I guess I can't raise too much higher when I do it that way, though. Oh, here we go. Oh, now we're really building our way up. It's probably gonna be easier to start at the top and then make our way down. I mean, it says that there's still a gold brick up somewhere. Oh, here we go. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Way up here. This has to be the tallest building. There might be some that match its height. Hard to tell though, it might be going uphill as well. Hmm. Well for now, oh, oh, oh I see it, I see it. Right over this way. Gotcha. There we go. Are you gonna say that every time you pick something up? <laughs> that, that's not gonna be uh, very tiring at all. Sarcasm. So there is a gold brick way at the end of the water here. So I wanna go ahead and grab that one super quick. That was the DevTech headquarters, interesting. Let's just go ahead and bust this to get another, oh, there we go, golden brick. We're really making our way up there, 178 out of 210. This is not much more to go. That's 30, what was it, 32, 30, 31, 32? You can't find anything, what's going on? Oh, look at this, it looks like we have a use for our custom character again. Let's go ahead and find him. He should be on this side. Custom, ah, chicken man. With the power of chickens, you can find a golden brick, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. This, should have, this shouldn't be too bad, right? It's just gonna keep leading me there, hopefully. Looks like we're taking the long way around. I mean, I don't even have a metal detector. I'm just looking on the floor or something. I guess the footsteps. I guess that's our superpower though, right? Okay, keep digging. There it is, yeah, golden brick. Very nice, so let's switch back you to the flying character, which is right here, Stratogale. I don't know if it just unlocks a random character when you do that kind of stuff, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Okay, so I'll save that lady in a moment, even though I don't think I need to anymore. Actually, yeah, we'll do some other stuff first, because I'm pretty sure I've done all those. There should be another, yep, I can already see it on the little, preview thing, a little guiding, whatever it's called. Go ahead and grab it, yeah. Okay, and there should be one, it looks like under the water there. And then there's another one. Uh, Directly below, there's so many, it's insane. Oh, yep, I see it, I see it. Oop. Oh, this is definitely gonna be a Toy Story one, right? No, 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 it's not. This one's gonna be up. Oh, that's so cool, yeah, this one will be up. That has to be the up house right there. That'll be super cool. I, I'm really hoping for it now, so hopefully I don't get let down. So there's another incredible brick right there under the bridge. And then there definitely should be one under the water. So Dory, where are you? Why are you still way over here? The world may never know. That's okay, we can just do this. And I thought I saw something glowing over that way, so after we get this. Shiny, yeah. Uh, We'll check this out, what in the world is this thing? Uh, yeah, let's switch over to Stratagale. Where, where are we now? What? Uh, yeah, I guess this way, right? Yep, right over here. What is this about? Yeah, what was she doing there? Telescope tour. I guess we can do a bird call for some reason. Yeah, what, what is that supposed to be? I don't know. 
I think that she's supposed to just be super strong. And I guess she can also make bird calls. Well, you know, everybody has a hobby. I'm not judging. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, she's supposed to be like a bird lady. Okay. A magpie's a, a type of bird then, right? I think, I'm not really sure. Thought that a magpie would be a type of pie, but I guess it would be weird if she knew a pie personally. Is he like a, because you know, then she makes a nest joke. A trophy like this? I don't know, we're about to find out. Let me bust some of this stuff open, then I gotta play as violent. Is there any more? Oh yeah, there's one over this way. They're all over the place. Okay, let's go ahead and bust it. And is there any more? I don't really see anything. So we'll switch over to Violet. You know what, let me do it as Dory, because we don't really need Dory right now. Switch on over, and Violet should be up here. Okay, so let's go into the ball form. This area is pretty large too. Oh, you know what? Did I move on over to the, oh, you know what? That's what I'm getting confused. I don't know when I did that. I guess I did sort of half of the other area. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. I don't know, I just kept going. I thought, I did not see this yellow line. Okay, so we, we sort of crossed over a little bit there. Let's move back this way. Silly me. I'm trying to keep things all consistent and stuff and then I'm the one who messes it up. So I guess we got a little bit of easy stuff done for next episode. And if we take a look now, there's some races, we still gotta do the four races. Okay, so that, that area for up, was not even this area, I don't know. That might have still been this area. Is it the scaffolding over here? Yes, it is, okay. So I just got a little mixed up, my bad, it happens. I do see one of the ATMs. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Yep, payment checked or declined. I don't know why I said check. Thought it said check. I was wrong. Pretty common. So yeah, it looks like we'll just do the four races. There should be one on the top of this building, so that'll probably be flying oriented, so keeping this girl should be fine. That looks really funny. Ooh, we're getting dizzy. She's not very good at flying, apparently, for being a bird lady. Ooh, and here it is. Yeah, this is definitely a flying one. Go ahead and start this. A minute and 40 seconds. Do we really need that much time? The flying ones can honestly be pretty tough. Because sometimes it can be just hard because you just don't have too much of a frame of reference of, yeah, like that, where you're going. So having that full almost two minutes will be great. Go ahead and have that, and that, and this. I'm just trying to follow the, the studs wherever I can. Ooh. No, come on, see, it's so easy. Like, you can't go light on the decline, because if you tap circle twice, they'll just stop flying altogether. So, like, lightly declining can be difficult. You need to hold the button, but then you decline too sharply, and it's hard to control then. You end up missing the ring, because you go under it. It's just a pain in the butt. Well, we seem to be doing okay. I don't know how far we got, really. Oh, going this way. Come on, keep going. Almost that 700 million studs. Pretty crazy. Got it. Yep, going pretty good. We gotta be almost at the end. We're about to hit one minute into this race. I still see a couple more rings. These two should be pretty easy. Going down this way, nice. And, oh, that must be the ending one, who's already illuminated. Indeed it is, boom, we got it in a minute and nine, so we had like half a minute left. Pretty good, 10,000 studs for us. Okay, so, there's probably the one of the more difficult ones done, and there's 700 million studs, great. Let's take a look, the next, Couple. There's one under the water. I want to do that one now. So we'll move this way. We'll probably move back to beating Dory. And that should help out nice and fine. This area's been quite easy though. Like we're only 15 minutes in and I'm almost have it done. And that's including wandering off to the other area, you know? <laughs> so that's funny. Yeah, we'll play as Dory. I mean, I could play Splashdown, but I play as him too much already, as it is. So we'll play as Dory. All right, activate the race. We got a full minute to get this one done. And swim. But yeah, if they're really doing one character per franchise, I guess we know we'll have one up character. I guess we won't see Nemo or Marlin, because obviously they were also part of Finding Nemo. Like, I guess they're doing not one character per movie, but one character per franchise, because there's three Cars movies. You think there'd be three characters, but I guess not. I guess they're doing one character per franchise of Pixar. 
which is fine. I mean, it's, I'll totally I'll totally forgive you as long as you make more Pixar Lego games, right? That would be amazing. I really hope a lot of people bought this game. I'm not really sure if they did or not. I don't really pay attention to that kind of stuff too much. But I would hope so, because this one was so much fun, and hopefully if they release like a Toy Story 4, which I think that's a movie they're working on. Last time I heard. If they're doing a Toy Story 4, which I feel like there's a lot of Toy Story, you know? Um, hopefully with that we see a Lego Toy Story. I feel like that'd be the most fun. Out of all the Pixar movies, I think Toy Story would probably be the most fun Lego one to do, because it's already toys and stuff, you know? It's a perfect match. So, uh, there we go. We got ourselves a golden brick, and another race completed. So, where is, oh, didn't realize we still had Violet over here. No, I didn't want to switch back to Dory. What are you guys even doing? Just change characters. Just be a flying character and get to the next race, which should be on the other side. It's also a water race. You know what, I didn't want to, but I gotta change the splash down. It would just be so much, no, not this guy. Oh, I don't want this guy. One of the 7,000 dif different goon characters. I want to splash down, he's the, the cool original dude. Let's get to it. So it should be on this side, another underwater race. It should be fine. There we go. I like how they always have the little buoys to indicate exactly where under the water it is. That usually uh, is pretty nice. There we go. And let's get started. I don't know if he swims as fast as Dory, but this one we have even less time for. Okay, yeah, he swims plenty fast. We only have 55 seconds, so five seconds less than the last race. It should be fine. Maybe it's like a super easy one. <laughs> It'd be funny if it's like three rings. You just go in a little circle and that's it. Easiest race ever. Ooh, ooh, there is something over that way. That might have been an old gold brick, though, that I already have gotten. Can't remember. All right, so I got some of this stuff. Can't swim any faster than what I currently am. I keep pressing the X button, nothing happens. I just go up a little bit more. Okay, so yeah, this one's interesting. I don't really see the need to have two underwater races in one area. I feel like it's just sort of a little redundant. Oh gosh, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted to look around while I swam. I mean, yeah, I guess using the camera button maybe makes changing the angles a little bit easier. But not even entirely, is that the truth? And that's the last one! Ready? Boom! No! We're .18 seconds late! Oh, that's so lame. I'm gonna switch to Dory then. Because I feel like that is a little bit faster. Ah, oh, that stinks. I'm here to... Oh, funny. I'm sure there's a... Hi, I'm Dory. Can I help you? Yes, swim fast for me, Dory. That would that would be very helpful. Okay. I wonder if that was just taken from the movie or if they got the Dory voice actor to come in for a couple lines. I, I, I don't think they usually do that just because it'd be really expensive. I don't know. Anyways, should be fine either way. I don't care what you say as long as you swim fast because she has this little dash move, which if we don't hold the button, now like if we hold the button down, she sort of charges and that's not what we want. But if we just tap the button, she has a little dash. And that's good, because it's just a little bit faster. So let's keep that going. Got it. And luckily, we'll get more studs for it. We got some studs, of course, for getting second place, only like 5,000 studs. We'll get even more, another 10,000 getting first, so not anything else, we collected some studs. That's nice. Okay, keep going. We got about 10 seconds to get to the end of this race, so let's hope that works out. Come on, this one's really tough. Come on, come on, yeah! Okay, that one was a little bit better, but that was definitely difficult. All right, well, there it is, it's it's completed. So there's that gold brick, and of course another chase completed. Uh, so let's switch over to Diablo. It gets, you know, zooped back on over to the top of the water. You know what, we'll probably wanna play as lightning. If it's on the floor, it's probably better to play as lightning. We should just be right over here. And got it, 30 seconds. This one's gonna be a quick one then. What, what are you doing facing this way? You're trying to give everybody a head start? <laughs> you don't have to be that much of a show off. Well, where are we going? Oh, we're going this way. Okay, that's a little confusing. This one actually might just be a little circle. Wait, are we going in the water? No, we're not, okay. Thank goodness. That'd be weird. Okay, yeah, I just, I don't know where we're going with this one. It doesn't really lead you onto it very well. Oh, are we going on the launch pad? Wee! Okay, we're up here now. We don't have too much time left, we gotta go. Whoa, whoa, down this way. Once again, it does not lead you to that. 
It's sort of weird. But we did it with 28.56 seconds in total, so like a minute, point zero, or not a minute, 1.04 seconds remaining. There we go! 185 golden bricks, that means we have 25 remaining. We're gonna continue forward. I wanna take a look at everything. Looks like our last thing to do in this area then is going to be getting our next Pixar character, which really should be somebody from Up. I don't know which person, maybe the grandpa, maybe not. We'll find out. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go down this way. We're gonna ignore the fire for now, maybe we'll do about something about it later. All right, so we just need five, we have five. Don't you worry about that. Okay, so let's get to building. Tap, tap, tap. Got it. Get this one as well. Okay, there's lots going on here with tapping the button over and over again, right? <laughs> okay, got it, got it. That should be it. So this definitely, look at this place, this is definitely the house from up. No doubt in my mind. Yeah, there it is, that's so cool. That's a great Pixar movie. Hmm, so is the old man in there or what? We're about to find out who is it gonna be? Oh, it's the kid. <laughs> he doesn't exactly look like what he does in the movie, but I guess like stylized wise, you know, there's only so much you can do with Lego characters. But there we go, we got him. So we'll check him out and see what he can do. But in the meantime, I gotta make sure I pick up as many studs as possible. But what an incredible build. Oh, is he a tracking character? You can see in the, the question mark over there. I feel like, you know, now that I think about it, yeah, some of you have mentioned that. Very cool, so we don't have to use our weird chicken dude anymore if we don't want to. That's nice to know, we have options. Anyways, we'll go ahead and switch to them from Lightning McQueen all the way over to, uh, where is he? He's right here. It is Russell, that's his name. So we can do a couple of things. Here, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, whoa, look at this! Oh, it's Kevin! Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> all right, so we have Carl's house. Of course, from up. But let's check this out a little bit. And this should probably just lead us to the red brick, whatever that's gonna be. Kevin is so cool. Kevin's my favorite addition. That was, that, that's pretty cool of them to do. Okay, so let's dig this up. Ooh, it's a build, all right. What is that? Is it a magnet? It is a magnet. So we can go inside now. Yes, we can. And then go up the ladder. And what's gonna be up here? It's gonna be the old guy. Get out of my house, kid. Ooh, it's a couple things. This one's like a little bit more involved. I like it. And then there's still another staircase upwards we can look at. That's a, I think a wind up TV. Oh no, it's the balloons. Okay, this house is gonna leave in a second. We gotta be ready for that. Oh, there it is. That is so cool. So the red brick is waiting out front. We'll deal with that in just a second. I wanna see, can we go up this staircase? Oh, we can't. The mystery will never be solved. Anyways, Dory, can you go ahead and pick that up? There it is. So what is this one gonna be? Whoa. Destroy on contact, add it to your collection, 11 out of 12 red bricks. So we'll take a look at that once you know we can. So I don't know if there's gonna be another stud multiplier. At this point, I think we have them all. I think this is gonna be times 960. So we're gonna find out together by checking out what this is. Smash all Lego objects you touch uh, and defeat most enemies with one strike. That sounds useful. So we'll go ahead and have that activated. We'll just get invincibility added just for fun. So we'll switch over to a flying character to finish this all off. We'll search through this area now with the uh, item finder and see if there's any extra stuff we can do because there definitely will be, there almost always is. Um, like the ATM machines we still need to find and the screen slaver screens, this should be nine out of 10. Very good. Moving on over this way. I see a couple things on this corner. Oh, well, I think it's on the street corner. We're about to find out. They're a little bit farther than anticipated. This is another piece of the Yama droid. Nine out of 10 for that one, clean up crew. What do we unlock for that if we get that done? And three out of five for the payment declined. Come looking for trouble, huh? No, we're not looking for trouble. We are trying to find, we're looking for free stuff. Like this, payment declined again. <laughs> See, there we go, I broke it on the contact. Just touched it and it, it broke. It's pretty interesting. Uh, so I should just be able to like, that'll make playing as Dash way easier, for sure. Uh, so there's one thing under the water, so let me go ahead and change to uh, Splashdown. A lot of the game will be a bunch easier. It's already easy enough, but about to be even more easier. Okay, so yeah, let's go down this way. And can I just touch this? Yeah, there it is, Sunken Villain, nine out of 10, how awesome. There's a couple more things. We do have our building up here. I think this is actually gonna be, a, you know, one of the, uh, Fixing things, so building on top of a building, as always. 
Looks like it, yep, called it. So let's go ahead and switch over to, is it this dude? Yep, downburst, can fix some stuff up, so get to it, dude. This might be the last one. I think it is. Ooh, nine out of 10 part-time mechanic. I always get that mixed up. <laughs> there has to be at least one more because we're still looking for one more ATM. So let's get to that. And then next episode is gonna be the last overworld one as far as I know, because like it'll have everything else. And then we'll go back to doing the story mode levels to get all that complete. We'll probably did that all in like one episode. 187 golden bricks and then we should get a character. Who will it be? It is. Oh, policewoman, I think. Police Sergeant added the collection. Very, very awesome. So I think that's everything for this area that we can possibly get. I'll, I'll take one more like fly over everything. Um, try to go at an angle where we can just sort of see everything. The next episode, we'll be getting that done. All this stuff over this way. A oh, house is so cool. So I'm gonna leave that there and then just turn around. And is there anything at all this way? Doesn't look like it. So that means everything else we have to do in the overworld is in this area right here. I, of course, accidentally did some of it earlier in today's episode because I wasn't paying attention. But very, very cool. That is going to wrap it up for today's episode of Lego The Incredibles. I totally didn't forget to play with the game for a moment. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Zebra up so I know you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.